Hey guys, Crazy Science here. Today we're going to talk about the three more presidents. James Madison, James Murnau, and John Quincy Adams. So James Madison was the fourth U.S. president. He did many of things, but there was one bad major event. The British was not happy with America. Why? Because when America declared independence on July 4th, 1776, they did not really win independence, just saying they declared it. So, so when America yeah. won its independence on July 4th, 1776, but the British was not happy. But people would usually think that they won it on July 4th. But that was not really true. They declared independence on July 4th, 1776. It was actually on August 2nd when America signed the Declaration of Independence. They declared it on July 4th, but signed it on August 2nd. So August 2nd is when they actually signed it. July 4th, they just declared it. August 2nd, they signed it. But when did America actually gain independence? People, people usually have debates on how, how to know when the country won independence. The definition of, of winning independence is kind of really hard to explain. So when the British actually said America was free was on September 2nd, when they signed a treaty of, of Paris stating that, hey, America, you're on your own. We're leaving you alone now. So basically, truly, America won independence on September 2nd. But people still say July 4th, that's just when they declared it. So Going back to the president, James Madison, the British were not really happy with America because they actually still had a little, they were kind of jealous that America was, was kind of doing well. So they were very, very angry and wanted to like go, on, go to war with them. But they didn't want to show that. So, when America made ships to trade with, with, uh, with other parts of Europe, the, the British stole their ships and kidnapped the, the sailors on, the, on American ships. So, most of the sailors are actually already British, because just saying, huh? lots, of the, lots of the colonies, the people in the colonies were British, just saying. So, they made them from the Royal Navy when they kidnapped the ships. So, James Madison was not really happy with this. So, they, he, they declared war on England. Some people call this the Second War for Independence. Most people like me call it the War of 1812, which happened in, of course, 1812. So, it, took a, it was only a two years war, actually. So, of course, America won, and they defeated the British again. So when they did, I was happy. There was no more wars. There was all partying. Well, not really partying, but like, no more wars anymore. This led to the era of good feelings. Let's go to the next president, James Monroe. So James Monroe was the fifth president. And he led the era of good feelings. Now listen now. The era of good feelings was the part of time of America when there was no wars, just all happiness. So, there's not really much to say about James Monroe. But then came the argument about slavery. So, so that came the argument about slavery. Many states had slavery, many didn't. Virginia is one of those states that had slavery. Even George Washington had slaves, and Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison, and James Monroe. So, it was a very big argument about slavery. So, the people at the North was known to not have slavery. The South people were known to have, do, to, so the North was actually known to not have slaves. The South was known to have slaves. So, even presidents like George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson, and even James Madison was known to have slaves. So, there was a very big argument about slavery. There were some states that there were allowed to have slaves and others that were not allowed. So, so there was a big argument about slavery. Because if the, if the majority of America was slave states, if they took a vote on should America be free or, or slave, so, if they took a vote, since the South would be the majority and the South owned slaves, 
they, they would say, we want slaves. So a whole miracle will be, will be the slave, a slave place. But if those more free states, and they took a vote, that means that America will be free. So it's a big argument about this. So then came the Missouri Compromise. The Missouri Compromise said that any state ab above Missouri, the, the long and last line of Missouri, that, that would mean that the states northern of that would be free. But the states southern of that would be slave states. That, made, that led to bloody Kansas. Because it was a huge argument about oh, should Kansas be a free state or a slave state. It, it, they said that it kind of looked north a little, and so that was a very big argument. When Tesla wants to join, then Missouri Compromise didn't really work very well. Because even Missouri looked pretty northern on, on the map, but it was a slave state because of the, the Compromise. So they had to fight Kansas. This was called Bloody Kansas, about should it be free or a slave state. It turned out that Kansas was free and all good. This leads us to the sixth president, John Quincy Adams. But wait, wasn't he also the second president? No, because the second president was John Adams. His son, John Quincy Adams, became the sixth president. So, he was a former secretary of state for James Monroe. And when he became president, things did not go well. So, what when? The era of good feelings passed and the, and the sixth election came. There was many candidates and Andrew Jackson was one of them. Andrew Jackson actually won the most popular votes. So Andrew Jackson got the most votes, which means he was supposed to be president. But there was a huge diversion because one of the ballot counters lost their place. So no one knew who was president. So John Quincy Adams made a deal with Henry Clay to vote for him. So so Henry Clay actually, actually agreed to that. So when they did, John J.Q. Adams became president. So J.Q. Adams became president. But Andrew Jackson was very angry at this. He won the most popular votes. So. He was determined to ruin J.Q. Adams' presidency. Even so, John Quincy Adams said, the most four miserable years of my life was my four years in presidency. But John Quincy Adams didn't really like slavery. So his father, John Adams, didn't like slavery either. But if he spoke about it, it ruined his reputation. So John Quincy Adams fought for slavery after presidency because he didn't want to ruin his reputation too. Even he told his dad, don't speak about it. So he fought for slavery too, which made him a really good president. But, but Andrew Jackson, on the other hand, owned lots of slaves. And Washington owned the most slaves. So it was a really big argument about slavery, like I was saying. And that brings us to the end of J.Q. Adams, the sixth president. Bye, guys. Remember to like and subscribe and tell me what I should talk about next. Bye.